Hi everyone, I know that we're entering into exam season and many students are trying to find their motivation to study. So here I am with another Notion video. So yes, for productivity purposes, I do use Notion as a planner, but at the same time, I also need a separate database to help organize all the assignments in aggregate. So today I'll be showing you just that and walking you through how I, you know, use Notion for that purpose. So before going into it, I'd like to share a resource that I based my Notion setup on. And that resource is from Janice Studies. She is also a YouTuber and this is a link to her website which contains her Notion template. If you are new to Notion, just know that there are a lot of friendly people out there with great templates I've set up, just like Janice here, that you can easily duplicate by clicking the duplicate button at the upper right hand corner. After duplicating this to your own Notion database, feel free to customize it, rename the name of the page of course, and tweak some few things. For example, I don't need all this stuff so I'm just deleting things and reorganizing things in terms of layout. And because very thankfully I don't have classes every day of this week, not all 7 days, I can delete those on Saturday and Sunday. And for these boxes, I also like to include the Zoom link because Zoom University, you know? Mm -hmm. And she has a nice calendar on this page as well, but I actually don't like it here. I like to keep on a separate tab. But as you can see, this is her master template where she has all her assignments and exams and whatnot. And I really like this table setup and you could of course switch up the columns in terms of which order you want them to go in. Also add columns as well. These columns are all set up differently, whether it's a text or a selection or, you know, different kinds of options. And I also added a new column where I have a submission format because certain assignments may be on different platforms. For example, it could be on Blackboard or Canvas um, as education platforms, or maybe professors like things being submitted via email or some other way. So you can easily set this up and, you know, select options each time for each line item. And you can view each class separately by setting up views or filters on your table. And you can, of course, check boxes off to feel that satisfaction when you've completed something. I like to have a to-do view where I have all the assignments or projects or exams that are not done yet and are still in the horizon. So I set the filter up so that all the boxes that are not checked show up on this view. And voila! All the things you have to get done. So back to the original view. And this is what it looks like. So yeah, you can definitely custom up all these individual pages for each course. And each course page can have a specific view of the table with all the assignments specific to that class. And for each courses page, I also like to add a little spread where I can outline each week's topic, including things like learning objectives, maybe guest lectures, and so forth. And here I am setting up as a toggle list, but you can definitely use the other forms of lists as well, such as a checklist or even a bullet list, anything you want. And of course you can style this to your pleasing. I like to bold these headers and inside each toggle, I have them in just a regular font. And of course you can customize the icons to, you know, be more specific and personalized to your class. So here I have an example class that I'm taking with the icon as a GIF of a cup noodle. Yes, good stuff. And yeah, the blurred out section are details of the class including contact information for the instructor, um, the Zoom link and good stuff like that that should be blurred out for privacy reasons. 
Anyways, as you can see here, I have a chunk of the full master list that is specific to this class. And yeah, you can of course put in the submission format for each of these items. I also sort each assignment by the type of assignment. And yeah, just these things keep me a bit more sane. So that's how I format the course pages, but how did I format the entire thing? Well, this is my spread for the entire spring 2021 semester. As you can see, I just have links to each course page here, and this is the master list on a separate page. So I have different views set up, um, including the to-do list I showed you earlier and all. And these are all the assignments in total, including the ones that I've already completed. As you can see, a lot of things done so far. Woop woop. And of course, I can view this as a calendar. I typically don't use this view, um, but you know, it's up to you. And yeah, that's kind of how I organize a portion of my life that is pertinent to being a student. But of course, my main thing is using my just minimalistic planner to keep safe. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. Definitely check out the template from Janice Study. She is great. And of course, her YouTube content as well. Support YouTubers, guys. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye.